NBC7's nightly check-in is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. Take a look at this $8 million vacation rental in La Jolla. The San Diego City Attorney calls it a COVID party mansion and is ordering it to be shut down. Thanks for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Catherine Garcia. So after years of complaints from neighbors, legal action is now being taken against the owner of that home and several others. No respect. There, there are people who are here to party for one night, trash the place and, and leave. The Cliffside Mansion on Black Gold Road has been listed on Airbnb for as much as $900 a night, according to the city attorney. But now city attorney Mara Elliott has filed a civil enforcement action to shut down that rental property. After more than 30 complaints since July 2018, mostly for loud music, fights, but even gunshots, as NBC7 reported back in 2019. And just since May, there have been about a dozen complaints violating state and county COVID health orders. People pay a lot of money to live here and, and to enjoy the serenity and the nature and the, and the cliffs. And so you get someone who doesn't even live here just running out. They're not even making that much money and they're just causing a nuisance and it's not very nice for us. The city attorney complaint alleges the homeowners, a property manager and a man subleasing the home are maintaining a public nuisance. They face penalties of as much as a million dollars. One of the defendants named in the city attorney complaint says the home is no longer being rented. The furniture inside the home is being sold. And Airbnb tells NBC7 it's removed the listing while it investigates further. 130 students and four teachers from the Vista Unified School District are in quarantine right now. On Tuesday, the very first day campuses reopened, a student at Mission Vista High School was sent home after showing symptoms of coronavirus. And then the next day, that student tested positive. The students who chose to go back to Mission Vista for in-person learning chose what's called the classic model, school all day, every day with safety protocols in place. Social distancing in the classroom is difficult, though. Even with half the students on campus, the classes are full and sitting students six feet apart is not generally happening, we're told. And as for lunchtime? At lunch, they're like curled, like bunched up. And even though they tell us, oh, you have to be six feet apart, they can't because like they, we don't listen. <laughs> That's honest, but the superintendent said other school districts have had positive cases too. In high school though, students do move to different classes so more students could potentially be exposed in the lower grades. The student who tested positive went to four classes and the district quarantined every student and teacher in those four classes out of an abundance of caution. Well, today the county reported 430 new coronavirus cases out of more than 13,000 tests. That is a 3% daily positive rate. One new death has been reported. So far, 867 San Diegans have died since the pandemic started. Well, starting tonight, San Diego State is asking students to stay home and only leave their homes or dorms for essential needs. The administration says this is all in anticipation of Halloween, not because of a rise in cases. The temporary stay at home advisory started at six tonight and goes until Monday, November 2nd. The move comes after the university had an outbreak, as you recall, at the beginning of the semester. More than a thousand students tested positive. Most of them lived off campus. SDSU says COVID-19 cases have been stable and low for the last six weeks. After the final presidential debate last night, President Trump and Democratic candidate Joe Biden are back on the campaign trail looking for those votes. President Trump is in Florida to rally older Americans. Former Vice President Biden is in his home state of Delaware to focus on the pandemic and the economy. Both sides, as you would guess, claim victory in last night's debate. Biden's plan would mean America's seniors have no air conditioning during the summer, no heat during the winter, and no electricity during peak hours. We're more than eight months into this crisis, and the president still doesn't have a plan. He's given up. He's quit on you. He's quit on your family. He's quit on America. More than 50 million Americans have already voted. The president and Biden will spend the next 11 days trying to win over the rest of the voters. Tomorrow, Biden heads to Pennsylvania. The president is going to cast his ballot in Florida. 
A California appeals court has upheld an order requiring Uber and Lyft to treat their drivers as employees instead of independent contractors. This is happening less than two weeks before voters will be asked to exempt the ride-hailing giants from the state's gig economy law. Treating Uber and Lyft drivers as employees would guarantee benefits including overtime and sick leave. The appeals court decision will not have an immediate impact because it doesn't take effect for at least 30 days well after the November 3rd vote on Proposition 22. All right, what's in store for you weather-wise for your Saturday? Here's Dagmar with your first alert weather. For your Saturday, your temperatures will be on the cooler side, so we've got a deeper marine layer, and we will continue to end up feeling basically the same round of temperatures, but a little bit on the cooler side, more clouds, possible patchy marine layer drizzle, and maybe a few drops of rain before midnight. Overall, you'll end up in the upper 70s, upper 60s, low 70s for the coast, low 70s for the inland valleys, mountains, you are looking at about the mid 60s, and the deserts, you are looking at about the mid to the upper 80s, partly to mostly cloudy skies from coast to cactus. NBC7's nightly check-in is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. We know how. Bill Howe is a family-run company that is as diverse as their services. Promotes employees from within and gives back generously to the San Diego community. I am Bill Howe. I am Bill Howe. We are Bill Howe. We are Bill Howe. Because, because we, we know how. how. Well, you may not be able to ride the roller coasters at Disneyland just yet, but starting next month, you will be able to shop and eat at an expanded downtown Disney area. Today, the Anaheim Park announced that sometime in November, no exact date given quite yet, downtown Disney will be expanding into Buena Vista Street in California Adventure. It will open some shops and restaurants, including Elias and Company and Smoke Jumpers Grill. There's not going to be an admission fee, but you will be required to do what you would expect, keep safe distances, and wear masks. And starting tonight, you can take your family to Petco Park for their first ever Halloween trail. It is a socially distanced trick or treating experience at Pumpkin Patch. Here's how it works. First, you have to purchase a reserved time slot and anybody two years old and older has to wear a face covering. Costume masks do not count. 18 booths are decorated with a different theme in mind and kids will be able to get treats through contactless delivery. There's also going to be special effects, superheroes, characters. We have a link if you'd like to check it out at NBC7.com. That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. Have a great night and a good weekend.